Hey guys, it's time for another In My Mailbox, and I'm going to show you some library books that I got, and books that I got for review, um, and some books that I bought. So let's start with the ones that I bought. This is about the third time I've filmed this video. <laughs> I have to like shift things around now. Um, so yeah, books I bought. Went to the Borders, I'm um, going out of business sale. Um, I went and visited my boyfriend, and the one that was near him was closing. So we went to check it out, and I got Blood of the Rose by Kate Pierce, which is the second book in the Tudor Vampire Chronicles. And this one takes place when Anne Boylan's at court, so I think it'll be really interesting. And I like the first book, so curious to see where the series goes. And then the other book I bought at Borders was The Founding, which is book one in the Moreland Dynasty series by Cynthia Herod Eagles. This book is intense and not, I don't know. I'm just really frustrated with it because I thought it was going to be really awesome and it's about the War of the Roses and it just sounds, I don't know, what, what I first thought of is like it reminded me of like Gone with the Wind and Gone with the Wind is epic, it really is and it's got, you know, good romance and everything and I thought this would too because this book makes it sound like this Eleanor girl, she marries this guy who she doesn't really want to marry because she's secretly in love with Richard, Duke of York. So my thought was, you know, something's going to happen with her and Richard and it'll be like, you know, scandalous and stuff. Well, so far, Richard has yet to even show up in this book and I'm on chapter four and it's already been three years later after the book started. And I'm only on chapter four. So, yeah, really this whole book could have been that three years. I don't understand it. But the worst thing about this book is that I got home and discovered that it is book one in 30, out of 33 in the series. And the 34th one is due out in, like, September. So, yeah, this Moreland Dynasty is now into the 1920s within 33 books. So, and this one's just about the War of the Roses. I don't know. <laughs> if anyone has gotten through this book, like, let me know. If you can convince me, I will give it a fair shot. Well, more of a fair of a shot than I've already given it. So I'm on page 73 and I'm bored. So, yeah. Let me know. I like, I like the writing. I'm just really bored with the story. There's no, there's really no romance. It's kind of bothering me. And even, and most historical stuff I read has romance in it, and I really thought this was. The back of the book makes me think that there's going to be a romance, and there's, there's absolutely none. So, yeah. That is my story about that book. But, I went to the library sale, and I got Secrets of the Tudor Court, The Pleasure Palace, and this one's really good. So it makes up for Miss Cynthia Herod Eagles. And I'm about halfway through, there, halfway through. And I really like it so far. Um, it takes place in the, during the time of um, Henry VII and Henry VIII. And it's about this girl that is brought to court when she's younger and then she grows up like in the palace. So. I will probably finish this one soon and then review it, and I'm planning on reading the other, like, three books that are in this series. And then I also got The Queen's Devotion, The Story of Queen Mary II by Jean Plady. And again, these are all a dollar. Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I liked her other books, so I figured I'd pick that one up, because it was cheap. And then I got The Bellini Madonna by Elizabeth Lowry. Haven't heard of this, but it's about a painting and it's historical fiction. And normally I like books like that, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So before I show you my library books, I'll tell you what I got for review. I got The Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory from Simon Schuster Gallagher. And I also got her. Um, book The Women of the Cousins War from Galley Grab as well and that's a non-fiction so I don't know if I'll be reviewing it or not 
and then from Penguin, which I downloaded from NetGalley, I got Theodora, Actors and Empress Horror by Stella Duffy, and it's a historical fiction about Theodora, who was Empress of, like, during the Byzantine time, like, in Constantinople. And I studied Byzantine art in college, so I found it kind of interesting, so I decided to download it. And then, yeah, so those are all my notes. So I'll be reading those over the next couple months, probably. And then I'll show you the stuff I got at the library. So I originally went to my library to pick up my Praxis study guide. I know, Lindsay, I'm not supposed to talk about Praxis, but I just did. Sorry. <laughs> kidding. Um, but yeah, so I just meant to get that, and I actually hadn't checked out the YA section of this library because I just don't go to that one very often. It is the closer one, though, so it doesn't really make sense that I would go the ones farther away, but I guess I just didn't think they would have that good of a selection, but really, they do, so I might start... I'm actually probably just going to keep going to both because between the two I can get everything I want and hopefully cut back on my buying. That's my plan. That's why I've been um, going to the library so much. Went twice in one day. It was awesome. So, yeah, so I went, I got my book, and then I decided to check out their YA section. And I got The Season by Sarah McLean. I read her Love by Numbers trilogy, really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd give her YA one a chance. I got Clarity by Ken Harrington. I think I've checked this book out twice now, and I really need to get around to reading it, so luckily they had a copy. I got Daughters of the Sea, which this one's about May, and this is by Catherine Lasky. Catherine Lasky wrote some of the Royal Diaries, and I read them when I was a kid, so when I saw that she was writing her own series, I thought I'd try it out. So this is the second book. The first one is about Hannah. I think I believe it's a trilogy. Um, so I've got the first one on hold. That way I don't read them out of order. And then they had um, Putting Makeup on Dead People by Jen Violi. I saw this on NetGalley a while back and I just never requested it. So I'll read it now. And then tonight I went to the other library, the one that I have gone to a couple times. Although I'm never really good about actually reading the books, I just get really excited and pick out a bunch, and then they sit there, and then they're overdue, and it's really bad. I'm going to try and get better about that. They've actually probably only been overdue, like, once, but still I get books, and then I don't read them. But I buy books, and I don't read them, so probably going to the library and then not reading the books is a lot better than buying them and not reading them. So just trying to be better about my spending and get my finances in order. So I got The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. This is book one in the um, Cousins Wars series. And I just got book three, Lady of the Rivers, which I told you about earlier. I just got that one for review. So that's why I decided I need to read The White Queen. And then the second book is The Red Queen. And I believe The White Queen is about... Elizabeth, uh, I want to say Elizabeth Woodville. Yeah, this is about Elizabeth Woodville, which I'm not that knowledgeable about the War of the Roses. My knowledge is more about the Tudors, so I really don't know who she is, but I like Philippa Gregory's books, so that'll be good. And then I think the Red Queen is about Margaret Beaufort. And she has an important role, too. So, so I'm going to probably read these after I finish The Pleasure Palace. And then I'll be reading The Lady of the Rivers. So that was what I originally was just going to get and then come home. But then I thought I'd browse around a little bit. And I found Queen by Wright, a novel by Anne Easter Smith. This is her fourth book, I believe. And I've always heard of her um, just being connected with historical fiction in general. So I figured I'd give her a chance. Hopefully this will be more entertaining than the founding. But if it's not, I can take this back to the library. <laughs> it's a good thing. I'm just kind of mad I bought that, that 
founding book, and now I don't like it, and I feel like I wasted money, so, oh well. And then I got Flawless by Laura Chapman. I had to check out the YA section once I, when I, uh, while I was there. Cannot talk tonight. Okay, and then I got The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I've heard really good things about her new book that's coming out, Shut Out and decided that I wanted to check this one out too because I've heard this one's really good also. And then I was super surprised to see this just hanging out on the shelf. They had Whoopsbane by Andrew Kramer. So I will probably be reading this one soon as well because I debated about buying it and then I don't own Nightshade so I kind of felt like I had to get both. And especially because like the covers like, I liked the first cover of Nightshade, and I don't really like... This one's not bad, actually. The Wolfsbane cover is okay. The Nightshade, the new Nightshade cover, the paperback one, just don't really care for it, so I didn't want to buy it. So, no, I got library had it. And I believe that is everything that I got probably in the past two weeks. Um, majority of it I got today. <laughs> but it's all library books, so it's fine. So, Yeah. That's all I got in my mailbox. Let me know what you got in yours. You can link below if you want to your post, and I'll check them out when I can. And also let me know if you have finished The Founding or if you've read any of her other books. Because I'm, I'm sorry, I feel bad, but I just can't get through it. And I don't do that often with books. Like Normally I'm like, you know, I'll give it a shot. I'll usually finish the book, but if it drags as much as this one does, it's out. So, yeah, I had something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, Vlogversary stuff. Um, no one's really been commenting, which kind of makes me sad. So, check out my blog. Check out all the amazing guest posts by my blogger friends. And leave comments and let me know, like, if you even were happy that I decided to have a Vlogversary. <laughs> I mean, I'd have one anyway, but I guess, like... I didn't have to do anything like major for it. I just felt like I kind of wanted to do something different. I thought the guest post would be really fun, and I think everyone's been writing some, about some really good topics. And also, you have the chance to win um, one of my favorite books that I reviewed. You can win, um, you only get to pick one, um, but it is international um, as long as I can figure out how to ship from the book depository. Um, if you're in the U U.S., it'll come from Barnes & Noble. It's no problem. Um, and let me see what books you can pick from. Uh, Vision and White. And um, High Society. Bright Young Things. Um, India Black by Carol K. Carr. I really liked that one. And I should be getting the sequel for review really soon. I'm excited about that. So those are just some of the books you can win. There's some more listed, and you just pick which one you'd want to receive. That way I know. Um, so far, I think a lot of people want to receive either Delirium or Bright Young Things. It seems to be pretty popular, but not many people have entered, so you have a really good chance of winning. So definitely check that out. And as always, I'm around on Twitter. You can email me and leave me comments, and I will talk to you guys later. Um, I don't think I'll have it in my mailbox for next week because I'm really trying not to buy anything, but if I get anything for pub from publishing companies, um, I'll probably just let it pile up a little bit and then do like a really big in my mailbox. So yeah, hopefully you guys have a great weekend, um, get lots of reading done, and there's going to be some reviews posted next week. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.